playing on the stage one night to speak with TV and patch up your thing and Coming off the stage, you're walking through the crowd, let's bend for the very first time Step my name is Ben Mazzuti and I got a talk show on Madhouse TV So give me a card, I'm a Tory Thumb down to the show and play some music for me On the Ben 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 and Rocky Show on Hola, and welcome to the Benny Gutierrez Show, Donald Trump's favorite web TV show, <laughs> all the way from Mexico, <laughs> on Madhouse TV, it on a rhyme, I don't think so, <laughs> welcome, welcome, hello and welcome to another Benny Rizzuti Show, thank you, thank you, the applause you hear, are, got a great show tonight, we have, uh, our guests are the writer and director of the uh, film Gender Bender. And you're going to hear all about it. It's a great, it's like the big comedy film that's going on on Long Island. And we're going to find out, you're going to find out with me what the show's all about. That uh, beautiful young lady that you hear laughing and applauding is, uh, <laughs> excuse me, let me get this hat. <laughs> I don't want people to know that I'm bold. So, <laughs> too late. Too late. Uh, I, th that happens to be my designated laugher, uh, Anita Starlight Bloomfield, or Bloomfield <laughs> Starlight, Anita Starlight. She was a guest last week. Her laugh is so great that I said, look, I don't want you to be my co-host, so the camera might show you a little bit, but uh, I need you to laugh and keep me going, all right? And the one thing, uh, I want to give a shout out, Stevie GB, I hope you're watching. Mike Dillon, I'm giving you a shout out, even though you are like a, a pothole in my driveway, which means you're a pain in my asphalt, but I still love you, okay? So I'm giving him, I'll be giving other shout outs later. Uh, Stevie GB, who watched, said, Benny, stop, I, I was fidgeting for an hour, I didn't realize, I was, he said, you were making me seasick. So, so I'm gonna try not to move in the chair, I'm gonna try to be very stiff and look at my notes. Uh, the intro that you that we had, uh, I'm working on a new intro, but you heard the song was written by Wild Bill Sherman, who's been on on the show. And uh, right now, uh, we still have the Gagoot Show channel on YouTube, and uh, if you go to that channel, uh, I'm going to have a longer version with pictures of me and pictures of... Uh, Pay, you know, friends and stuff, and I'm gonna have the entire song. He wrote a great song that he played last week, calling it the Benny Gagoot Show. Now it's the Benny Rizzuti Show, and it's a really great. It makes him want to howl at the end and eat it. Right? Let's go. <laughs> oh! So, a uh, few things I want to talk about. I was I was almost running late, and uh, when the traffic, it seemed like I live. Uh, my, I live in uh, a dead end street, and it's on a busy street. And sometimes, you know, you can, it was like car after car. It took me five minutes to get out. I finally get on the parkway, and I'm behind a guy in a brand new vet who's doing under the speed limit. And the way I look at it, if you drive a sports car, okay, and there's nothing wrong with the car, if you drive under the speed limit, that car should be repossessed. You should just <laughs> lose that car, right? Really? You're, you're driving in a friggin' vet! And I'm behind you, you're doing 42 miles an hour! Jesus, that, that pissed me off. Uh, Benny Gutierrez, as if <laughs> you, you still laugh at that. It took me 15 years to get written a new review about me written in good times, and the guy couldn't even get my last name. I don't know where he got Gutierrez, I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, <laughs> I had a, had a great week. I spent some of the time uh, at the Mousetrap Cafe, which I love. I love the new, and not just because uh, the owners are, <laughs> Anita's doing it. <laughs> I love it. Ka after tonight's show, karaoke night, there's a, I saw uh, there's a, a lot of great music on Friday and Saturday. A lot of great, a lot of great things happening over there. There's going to be, we're going to have some uh, big comedy shows working on it. I'm working on it with a big shout out to Vicki Mealy, who does all the work for this show. She was my producer from when I first started. From when I first started, she was the one, and she does it all. She does it all, and she does it great. I love her. Um, I heard one person, there's a Mouse Trap Cafe uh, fan page, or it's a page on Facebook, and Anita told me that uh, someone wrote, I would never eat at a place called the Mouse Trap. 
So I want to write back to this guy and say, I bet you will probably never watch Ratatouille either. <laughs> <laughs> never, because that's a chef who's a rat. All right, rats and mice are not related. And cheese, what's wrong with cheese? And what's wrong with Mickey? You don't like Mickey Mouse? I guess he won't go to Disneyland either. Maybe the truth is you, you'll use that as an excuse, the mouse, because you're a cheap SOB. How about that? Maybe he's just too cheap. So instead of telling the truth and saying, I won't go to Mousetrap because I won't, I still have my communion money and I'm 75 years old, okay? So I, I, I'm too cheap to go. That's his problem. That's his problem. And don't fidget in the chair. I wrote that. Don't fidget in the chair. I'm going to tape that to my head. So uh, I think I, do you want me to wrap it up? Oh, <laughs> wrap it up, wrap it up. Wrap it up. I'll take it. Wrap it up. <laughs> anyway, uh, is there anything you want me to talk about, Anita? Did I did I get all the bases? I I I. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I. Next week, uh, breaking wind. That's the first time in my whole life I've ever been speechless. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. I I love that laugh though. I love that, taking that laugh on the road with me. <laughs> so. Uh, I had a train of thought, but I'm 61 years old, so <laughs> I forgot what I, I was just about <laughs> to say. Maybe it's in your it. other hat. What? Maybe it's in your other hat. It might hat. be in my other hat. It could be in my other pants. <laughs> a lot you of things are in my can't go with that thought, no. <laughs> there goes cable. <laughs> no, no, no. What? Dead air, Anita. Oh, dead air. Okay. This is so, dead air. You know, tell me what the chicken's doing, at least. The chicken is what came first, the Benny Rizzuti show or the chicken? Or the chicken, I don't <laughs> the know. <chicken. laughs> That's a tough one, I gotta tell you. <laughs> you know, I did. Ha I had something I was gonna talk about, and now, oh my god, it went. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what I'm gonna say is, we're gonna go to a commercial, and then we'll be back with the director and writer of Gender Bender, and Gender we all want to hear about it. All right. Oh! <laughs> Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's Ladies Night In, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh. Trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Sousa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time.
Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail center. Hot hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. Galaxy Luxury Coach is a full-service limousine and party bus company. Family-owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best-in-class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all-day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure your special event is truly special. Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels. Concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. Galaxy. And we're back with our very special guests, Richard Lampone and John Marana from Gender Bender. Thank you, Betty. Thank you Thank for having us. Oh, thanks for coming on the show. Now, Richard, you are the director, and John, you are the writer. That's correct. All right. So, now tell me, uh, first we'll start with you, Richard. Tell me a little bit about yourself. How? Uh, so, um, it's, it's funny, because this is my second career. Uh, I was formerly a, a NYPD lieutenant, and uh, I uh, became a filmmaker, producer, actor. I studied at the uh, William Esper Studios in New York City uh, for two years, uh, took up some film classes, and uh, I decided, you know what, it's really cool if you do your own projects, because the business is really rough. And uh, I teamed up with my pal here, and uh, he's, uh, he's my writer, and uh, we came up with this crazy idea. Uh, Called Gender Bender. Called Gender Bender, right? Now, now, so you were a lieutenant? You, I was a lieutenant. You're retired? I've been 20 years. I've been retired for five years. Wow. And uh, I, uh, I always had this passion to, to become an actor, to, to, to just be involved in the movie business. And uh, John always had this, this passion of writing, so we just... Uh, you know, he used, we used to work together. He used to drive you, me around. You were and, a policeman uh, also? Yeah, yeah actually... Um, Rich was a sergeant, and I was his driver, and then I got promoted to sergeant, and then he came to the precinct that I was in. So we're both retired from the uh, New York City Police Department. Wow, great. So what part is, of New York City? Uh, down in, in uh, Manhattan, by uh, 51st Street, you know. So we're going to say hi to our old peeps at the uh, 17th Precinct, you know. All right. Them, love them all. 17th um, and the 19th. 17th, 19th, and... Uh, um, we're big, big law enforcement guys. We love cops, and you know, obviously, we come from that background. So uh, it's, uh, it's some of our fan base is uh, cops. You know, so big shout out to the NYPD. Yes, so, they deserve it. They deserve it. Um, so this is our second career. You know, uh, acting, producing, directing, writing, um, and uh, we're really excited about this film. You know, we got some yeah. really talented people, some you, name actors that that are. Really you do fantastic. now first. We We'll mention, now your name, Lamar K. Cheston, is he a stand-up comedian? He's not a stand-up comedian, but he's on this Broadway, off-Broadway show called uh, Black Angels Over Tuskegee. It's going on Broadway. It's a really fantastic show. Uh, everyone should catch that. Um, it's uh, playing at the St. Luke's Theater in Manhattan. Um, but this guy, Lamar, was fantastic. He's yeah. such a talented actor. He really killed his role. 
you know, we're really proud that we had him on the film. So. And you have Long Island's favorite comedian, yeah. Joey Cola. Damn right, Joey. Joey Cola. Who doesn't love Joey Cola, right? Everyone loves Joey. I, I love Joey. I know Joey for like 35 years. Yeah. I know, and I love him. I'm glad he's in. Now he was on uh, the other show I used to do last year, and he told me a little bit about it, about that he was in Gender Bender. He right. told me a, a little about it, you know. Yeah, that was probably movie. when it was at its little baby stages. You weren't right? in production yet. We was, weren't in production, but we brought him on on uh, as a producer as well, and uh, you know he really just got us. Once we got Joey, we knew that the ball started rolling. We could get the ball rolling, and start bringing in other people. Um, so he, he, uh, he was a force in it, you know, and, uh, he's just a great guy. Joey, oh, yeah. Joey actually motivated us to make in the movie because he was actually the first person that we gave the script to that was legitimate. And when he read the script, he said, you guys got something here. He goes, I want to be involved in this. So he kind of motivated us into pushing it along because, you know, we didn't, we weren't sure we had the, the, the script kind of suspends disbelief and it's a little off. It's kind of like hot tub time machine meets the hangover. And uh, we weren't sure what we had and Joey gave it a read and he was doing uh, the Borgata in uh, Atlantic City and we met him for dinner with a bunch of guys and right away we clicked and uh, he said, you guys got something here, let's talk about this and let's move forward as well. So he kind of he kind of pushed us into moving forward with it. So thank you, Joey. <laughs> now tell us a little bit about the story. You want to tell us? Well, it's <laughs> what you can tell us. Yeah, uh, it, it's hard to tell you know about the the movie without giving some stuff away. But I'm gonna do my best though. Um, it's about three guys who are pretty much uh, they lose their promotions to women, so they're a little fed up with how women in their minds have the power. Um, they go to a bar, they get drunk, and somebody's watching them, and starts listening into the conversation, and. Uh, says, hey, you guys want to know the power of women? You want to get that power? And we're all drunk at this time. We start doing shots. And he takes us down to this really underground lair where there's this old Japanese guy. And something happens to us that the next day we wake up with female body parts. Female genitalia, wow. Female genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the funny part is that we're kind of stuck with those body parts for 72 hours. <laughs> so everything that happens to women and emotionally happens. too and all they, might, they might be stuck with those body parts forever you have to watch the movie to see what happens because there is a stipulation that maybe they will have them forever but as we, they're as they're going through this uh, situation that they're in all the things are happening to them that happen to women like uh, menstrual cycles and oh, yeast really? infections and um, the all the women stopped. all the women issues are happening and they and and they're starting to realize that maybe it's not so easy being a woman. So, but we can kind right. of maybe that. having having the great power is also uh, a lot of misery. There's that big uh, line of Spider-Man, right? With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they feel the responsibility. Trust me. Yeah. And a, but, and a um, lot of tampons. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there are there you are know, tampons. Uh, we could actually do a, if we could get sponsorship for tampons, that would be great because there's a lot of tampons in this movie. You know? Oh, that's great. No, yeah. that's really fun. Now, tell me, uh, you were the three main actors, you, Richard, Lamar, and Joey. Right. But then I've seen, uh, I've seen little pictures on Facebook of uh, Gilbert Gottfried. Right, right. Um, right. Joey planted the seed. He said, you know, you have this role of a, of a doctor in the film. Who would be better than Gilbert Gottfried, you know? <laughs> and we started wrapping our heads around that, and, and I reached out to a casting director that, that I know, and uh, I said, is this possible, you know? Yeah, of course it's possible, but you need a little bit of money, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we ended up getting Gilbert Gottfried, and it was probably the best decision that we made, because he is, like, amazing. He killed his role. He was really hysterical. And it also gives the project a little bit of legitimacy. Like yeah. you have Gilbert Gottfried, you know. Right. You have Eric Roberts. Eric Roberts. You know? Oh, well, how did you get Eric He's Roberts? A huge fan. Yeah, Eric Roberts when when we had spoke about him, you know, uh Pope of Greenwich Village and and the Batman movies and and uh you know, we didn't think it would be possible to get him and you know, Rich was able to give his agent a call and he said he looked at the script and he he was interested, and he did a great scene with uh, Lamar and he just totally killed it. And we were watching him act and he was just a phenomenal That's phenomenal actor. Just watching him 
act was unbelievable. Yeah. Eric, Ro who wouldn't want to see right. a movie with Eric Roberts and Gilbert Gottfried right. in it? Well, look, Eric Roberts plays a porn producer. I mean, imagine that. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried plays a gynecologist. I mean, <laughs> just saying that Gilbert Gottfried is a gynecologist, that alone is funny. It, it <laughs> is, so. it is. But not only, I said earlier that uh, this is like the big buzz. Your movie is like the big buzz on Long Island. Because you have a lot of A-list comedians that a lot of people may not know. You have a lot of A-list uh, stand-up comedians in yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I can go through Kevin Downey list. Jr., I Kevin believe. Kevin Downey Jr., who's in America's Got Talent. we got Chris Monty, who I just want to send a shout-out to him. He was able to uh, plug our movie on WBAB uh, 12.3. That was on a few days ago. That was great of him. Really appreciate that. Um, Joey Cole, of course. Uh, Danny Cohen, who's hysterical. I caught a stand-up. He opened for Joey one day. The great Chris um, Roach. Chris, Chris Roach. Roach, yeah, who's going to be in Kevin James' new... Right. Sitcom. He hey, Kevin can wait. Seasons. He plays, uh, I think, Kevin James's uh, ex-partner, and Kevin can wait. And he's a uh, he's a presence on the uh, on the camera. He's about eight oh, feet yeah. tall, you know. And uh, he was just phenomenal. He was hysterical. And it was great to work with him. He was. A, he was he's a great such guy. a great guy. Yeah, he's like met a big, Chris a few big times. teddy bear. You know, love he's a teddy guy. bear. And we also got uh, Sal Governale, uh from the Howard Stern show. Right. Who uh, who uh, who t ended up being phenomenal. He's a He's more talented than we thought thought he was, and uh, we were happy to bring him aboard. He was he was funny. Um, he he was able to improvise. He he, he brought his own little uh, shtick to the show, to the movie, and uh, he was great. And he no, another great guy. He was just uh, a pleasure to work with. It looked like you guys are having fun from the big Mick Thomas too. I want oh, to give Mick a shout Thomas, out. Oh my God, because he's amazing. He plays a dirty priest. Oh really? <laughs> Um, that's another character. It was great. I, you know, it's crazy because as we went along as uh, filming, um, one thing that we noticed that is that this is nonstop laughs. There are no lulls in this movie, so it's laugh after laugh after laugh. And if we saw a part that was okay, wait, this is not. We're not cracking up for this. Let's do something about this. Let's add. Let's add this element. Let's do this. Let's do that. And it was just hysterical. Everything was. When people see this movie, they're gonna think like, wow, these guys did it. This is like The Hangover on. Still can right. I say vaginas? Can I say yeah, that? yeah, I believe you can. A hangover say with vaginas. Hopefully, we'll be following a medical show <laughs> or something. You know, <laughs> when we make the, some of this will make it to cable, some of this will not. You know, we'll, we'll cut it out. I'll throw a video in. Well, Maybe we'll go along another a medical term so we could say that. You know, we yes, say vagina yeah. and penis actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear her laughing, but we can. But, <laughs> it's a beautiful laugh. Um, so yeah, Mick no. Thomas, Danny Cohen, all those guys. Oh, we we pretty much got the whole Long Island comedy circuit. That's you know, great. Even if uh, Scotty Baker, who's got yeah, show Scott on, Baker. I love yeah, Scott Baker. He's got this uh, show on Amazon, uh, Midtown. It's yes, about two cops. About two and, cops. And, and it's fantastic. And Scott it's really and Scott Baker was contact. a police officer right, as exactly, well. Yeah, that's one thing we're proud of. We have a bunch of cops that are involved in it as well. Um, that you know we brought along and. And kill their roles. They really. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Now, uh, so you've been retired. You're retired for five years. How long are you retired? Not too long. I'm, retired. Too I'm less than a year. I'm. Uh, oh, all right. I'm like ten months retired. So, is this your first movie? I've I've got you, some movies on. Um, you did a few I things. Did a, my previous movie is called Kryptonite. It's about um, two cops who have a a, dr a brother who's addicted to drugs, and we try to pull him off the streets. Um, I just we just. That's in post production right now. Um, Great. But this is our. This is uh, this one's gonna. Really it's your pet. This is your pet this project. Our, yeah. our project. Though. All right. We're gonna show a clip, and then we're gonna take a quick break. So you wanna yeah, so say anything about the clip? Yeah. So the clip it's uh, starring uh, Joey Cola, where he's he goes uh, through a little bit of a transformation, where he becomes his name. His character is Howard, but now he gets a makeover. So now his name is Henrietta. And then uh, the reason for the makeover is because we're trying to track down the guy that put the spell on us. Oh, all right. You know, that, that tricked us into having vaginas. So okay, we'll into having uh, uh, female, female genitalia. Female body parts, yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to see a, a clip of uh, Gender Bender, and then we'll be back after this these few messages. Oh, one last touch. Wow. Howard, you're now Henrietta. Henrietta? Why Henrietta? Why not? Why can't I be like an Amber or a Savannah? 
A because that's dumb and you by no means whatsoever look like a stripper. He looks like a flamingo dressed in drag. Oh, he looks absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. so good I won't have to bathe the next two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, laugh a little hard. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Get a new sweater. The worst dressed man here tonight. <laughs> Look, get that laugh. Get that laugh and get it in there tonight because nobody else is going to laugh like her. She's under drugs, all right? And we're back. We're back, baby. We're back, baby. We're back. Ow! <laughs> Richard Lampone and John Marana. From the director and writer of Gender Bender. Now, all right, you told us that uh, this is a movie about three men who something happens to them and they get female genitalia and become women. Are there any actual women in the movie? <laughs> mm, of course there's women. How can you make a movie without any women? Come on. There's some really amazing... The Adventures of Tintin. That's true. <laughs> That's I don't know how many people are going to watch it without... <laughs> women in there but um yeah we have this amazing actress who you know she had a smaller role but margaret champagne who was uh who's been uh, a regular on the um amy schumer uh show and uh we know her through uh through our casting director i met her several times she really was amazing um we have julia collier she played a detective Haley seal she played a detective so we have some antagonists and they happen to be female uh, <laughs> yeah. antagonist which is really uh, fun with these guys you know having to get their body parts back and you have some female antagonists trying to 
put the caboose on it. Well, know? I, I, you know, I really want to see this movie. What, <laughs> when is this movie? How far, far are you in production? Right, are you so done? We, we basically wrapped recently, a few days ago, uh, about a week ago. Our last scene was Gilbert Gottfried's scene, which was uh, really great. Um, you had but, a rap uh, party and everything? Uh, rap party's coming up soon, in, the, in a couple of weeks. Of course, you're invited. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> great. Um, and uh, so we're in post-production now, and it's going to take about six weeks, and we're looking for music for the film, uh, any indie bands that are uh, interested, they want to submit our, uh, uh, some music to us, they can send it to genderbenderthemovie at gmail.com, we'd love to, you know, sample some music. Wild Bill, here's your chance, Artie! Come on, Wild, Wild Bill. Bill! Wild Bill. Bill! Hey, Gender Bender! Where are you, Wild Bill? <laughs> Well, he's, I know he's watching now because he's like, I, I hope Benny play, played my new song, the Benny Rizzuti show song. So he'll write you guys a song and it, with a gong and the cymbals. He does it all. Might be a good, so, you know, I like the Benny Rizzuti show song. I happen to like it. I, um, so, yeah, Wild well, Bill. There's a couple of people that we didn't uh, mention that were really surprising to us. We put a call out for some extras and uh, somebody showed up. His name was Mike Fine. And he's I a comedian. He just showed up with no <laughs> expectations, and we found a little magic with him. Mike Fine just showed up. We had a uh, shoot in. A, we had a pool scene in the backyard, and he shows up. And I didn't know who he was. I don't think Rich knew who he was. We're going crazy, trying to figure everything out. Had a lot of extras that day, and he's walking around the yard and, and, and speedo, in a speedo, <laughs> cigar in his mouth, <laughs> and everybody's saying, "Who is this guy here? This guy should star in a movie." And then. He started explaining to us he's the cuddle star and he cuddled over 10,000 women and blah, blah, blah. And he was making people laugh on the set. So we we actually brought him back to a couple more scenes and yeah. he's a hysterical... Mike guy. Fine is one of the most oddly, oddly yet super funny people I've ever met in my life. Yeah. He's been... Uh, when, when I used to be on that other show... That other show? <laughs> no, when, on the Gagoot show, Mike Fine was on four times. And he came on twice as a reverend, all decked out with his reverend, and he, he's hilarious. He he could just co goes into a character. That's yeah. what's great well, about that, Mike. Yeah, I mean, he, he likes showed to up. He showed up in different wardrobes, and you know, the, the selection that he brought was amazing. I was like, wow. And it, so you know what we did was that to ourselves, what's the best role that we could put him in? What's the most? He's an awkward guy, right? Let's make him a porn star. Oh, that's uh, great. He plays a porn star in the movie. That is amazing. That's <laughs> great. He's so funny. He, he's been a butcher on the Gagoot show. He was a butcher, he was a carpenter, and he was a reverend. So, yeah, yeah. With silver packages, pl uh, platinum, he had platinum uh, marriage and funeral package. <laughs> so, so they carry your marriage and your death at the same time. Uh, he just he, the things he comes out with. He, yeah, and, I mean, he, and he's he, in character. He's great. Yeah, he showed up and he, he was wearing some leather outfit as a porn as a porn. <laughs> star, so. You give him you give him a direction, he'll Way, go for it. Right. And he's used to be on. He's been on with Bob Greenberg, who I don't know if you know Bob yeah. Greenberg. Very fine. Just. That's, uh, I want to give a, a shout out to Bob. Yeah. Bob, I love you. He, he, watch the show when you're not on it, okay? <laughs> Sometimes we're funny even without you, but I love you. <laughs> we also have another, another guy, Jeff Gurian, who wrote, a, he's really big into comedy writing. He wrote an article about Gender Bender a few times already, and I want to send a shout out to him because he really, uh, he, we cast him in a movie and he played a, a porn director. And, uh, <laughs> yes. He came in with his flashy outfit, and he really did great as well. And the wrestler, this is the wrestler, which wrestler? Game of Thrones. Oh my God, Dan DeLuccio. He's in the uh, wrestling circuit, but uh, he uh, we we did a little theme, uh, Game of Moans, like Game <laughs> of Thrones. Yeah, and uh, it, it came out perfectly. We loved it. So Dan <laughs> DeLuccio, he he was uh, in the movie as well. So. That's amazing yeah. that you have so many people involved. And it sounds like I want to see the movie. I can't wait. When you do the rap party, you're gonna show some of the movie, or yeah, we'll have a trailer by then, uh, or at least a few clips that we can share with everyone. So, um, I mean, to the clip that you just saw today was just a small little tidbit of of greatness. You know? <laughs> it's funny. I was watching with Joey with the the Frito in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <She's doing it. laughs> There's actually an uh, amazing uh, dream sequence scene with Joey and Cheese Doodles and uh, Carrie Rose. Uh, she played uh, she played his dream uh, girl, 
and there's some cheese doodles involved and Joey on a couch. Very romantic. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I was telling Rich, I said, this, this scene might rival the scene in Fast Times in Ridgemont High when she comes out of the pool. Phoebe with her Phoebe Cates. Phoebe Cates. Oh, I Phoebe think this Cates. scene might rival that. This is that scene of the 2000s. Joey eating cheese doodles from Kerry Rose. It's amazing. <laughs> this is the 21st century. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. This is the one. And I actually asked Joey the other night if he wanted any cheese doodles, and he never wants to see him again. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joey's uh, security blanket in the movie is cheese doodles. Oh, all right. Cheese puff, I should yeah. say cheese puffs, whatever. Cheese puff. Yeah, you can't say so that. He, so he's, he was eating them throughout the whole movie. I must have ate about 17 pounds of cheese doodles. <laughs> and I asked him the other night, I sent a picture of my brother uh, who played Dom Schlong in the movie. And um, <coughs> I said, Joe, do you want any cheese noodles? And he said, absolutely not. Don't ever show me them things again. Uh, he told me he went when he went to the bathroom, it actually came out orange. <laughs> that was yeah. the weirdest thing. I was like, wow, it's crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a lot of, a lot of cheese <laughs> That's puffs. That's a lot of cheese puffs that were consumed. So, but... Um, yeah, so we're really excited about this movie. We really think that it's got one of those, uh, it's got a, a chance to really make it. And, uh, you know, our goal is to get distribution, to, to really uh, get it out there so that as many people can, uh, can see it as possible, like millions of people. And I think we have a really good shot because um, we put a heart and soul into this, you know. So now are you just looking to get it released or are you going to put it into like festivals? Yeah, so our first thing we'll get it to festivals and uh, we'll be targeting major festivals, Toronto, South by Southwest. Um, I don't think this is a cons film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why not? Uh, it'd be great if I could just sneak it in and yeah. that audience just put that DVD in there so I could see their faces, you know. <laughs> But, um, you know, once we get uh, from that, you can gain distribution or you can go to film markets. There's a lot right, of Right, because if that. you go the other way, like if you had a premiere for the movie, right. then you can't show it in a festival. Right, right. Right? That's the rule of yeah, the festival? Yeah, you want, you know, a lot of festivals, they want to be the first one to show it. Um, but um, we'll see what happens, you know. There's a lot of ways to get it out there. So, you know, at the end of the day, there's going to be, uh, it's going to be out there. So Now, who is your film crew? So we hired a really, really fantastic cinematographer named uh, Alex Watson, and uh, I've worked with him before on another film, uh, Lonely Boys, that's out in the uh, film festivals right now, and uh, he did some really, really great work on that film, and that was really, the budget was like really low, like 25, 30. This budget for this film was around 150. Um, so I knew that if I can surround him with a really talented crew, that he would do a great job. So. Uh, our cinematographer was fantastic. Like I can't be happier. He came up with some really great ideas, uh, especially during the Godfrey scene, uh, um, the gynecologist scene. Uh, we actually put a camera so that Godfrey was would be looking as if he would, was looking inside a female body part. You know, so um, <laughs> the way that looks is just amazing. You know, I don't want to give too much about. Yeah, the I know. I know scene, you don't want to give a lot. Oh my God! When people see that, they're gonna crack up. Really. You know, I mean, just hearing his voice. Hey! You know? <laughs> yeah. This is the half yeah, I think guy, it's you know? great that you got all that. And I love seeing Joey doing something because a lot of people don't realize it. If you don't go to the clubs to see Joey, you don't realize that he's been doing studio warm ups for like 25 years. Right. Uh oh, that's, that's, that's Joey my Paul wife. <laughs> that's Joey. He's that's right Joey. Now. You better not badmouth me, Betty. I <laughs> I can't get where he is. Uh, Joey's been. Dang, we want a dog. Dang, <laughs> dang, we want a dog. Dog, 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 dog. Yeah, yeah. Dog, dog. We have a dog. Yeah, that's great. Dog, dog. That's great. That's Joey. That's so great. Anyway, we're gonna take a quick break, and uh, you're watching the Betty Rizzuti Show with Richard Lampone and uh, John Marana, and we'll be right back All after right, this. Then. service limousine and party bus company. Family owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best in class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure your special event is truly special. 
Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels. Concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. No, shh. Trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. And we're back. And we're back, baby. We're back. So, um, you know, uh, we also want to talk about how we came up with this uh, crazy idea. Um, yeah, tell me how two uh, uh, retired uh, <laughs> police officers, a lieutenant gotta, and a sergeant, I gotta say, came up with an idea. I gotta say, uh, <laughs> me and Rich, uh, we've been through a lot, and we're, we're very close to like brothers, and... Um, He's, he always has ideas. He always had these ideas to make money or to do something. And, you know, he got into the movie business and the film business. And he goes, I got an idea. And he sends me a picture with his thing tucked. <laughs> and with a wig on. And he goes, this is my idea. And I go, are you out of your friggin' mind? Are you out of your mind? And he said, no, this is the movie. I said, are you... So... That's how it all started. Rich came up with that. He was hey, gave you that picture. Yeah, he sent me the picture. Getting that on your phone. And I, 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 I thought he was. I, I thought he was crazy. I thought he was a lunatic. But then I sat down and I started thinking about a story and how we could figure things out. And you know, I started writing and, and Rich obviously put his input in and we came up with this magical story of men losing their penises where there's uh, vag gods and ancient Chinese scriptures and and. I, I can't even get into it now. It was so so many things. It, it it started so small and it just became so big from that one picture that he sent to me. <laughs> that, that you know, and thank God my wife didn't see that picture because you know she knows I go to his house often and we hang out. <laughs> and I didn't want him her seeing that picture in particular because it would have got awkward in the Miranda household. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing things happen when you tuck it in. You know, so. 
Wow, that's it. That should and be we, that and, should be the line of your next book. And what was, book what, what, what was funny, Ben, was um, throughout the movie, you know, the guys don't have their penises, so uh, we had to put like uh, spandex pants on them, like, so they would talk. And uh, <laughs> Joey, who, who we had a lot of scenes with him, was was really dying with these tight spandex pants on. He was he couldn't wait to I get felt, them off. I feel like Joey went through. Um, as much as Leonardo went through in The Revenant yeah. with, with his whole scene <laughs> yeah. in the movie yeah. you know he, he that's how much he suffered as much as he should get he should get an Oscar <laughs> Joey <laughs> probably would have rather gotten mauled by a bear than have to tuck in his genitalia <laughs> <laughs> when's a bear coming <laughs> is it a bear is it a bear daddy we want a bear <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, uh, so we want to say thank you for having us. I mean, oh, really, uh, you're you know, welcome. You're more than welcome. You guys, you guys got us. You're the first one to have us. So that's great. Thank you. Thank and that, you, and you know we'll what? Be back. And I love being the first person to talk about this yeah. movie because uh, all over social media, you, you're seeing Jen, and a lot of people are like, "What's Gender Bender?" What? Right. And as I told you, Joey told me about Gender Bender a year ago, but he only told me a little bit about it, not a, you know, just a tease. Yeah. And then I've been seeing, you know, what? it's it was happening. It's going. So I, I hope you could come back with as yeah, many we'll cast back. members. You know, we could do like an Oprah, like when Oprah used to have the whole cast what? of Batman. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I, I think that, especially Mike Fine, he would love to come in here. Yes, Mike he, Fine. He would love to lay on this red couch with these pillows. He Mike would. Fine's been on that red couch many times. Yes, <laughs> I think I need the blue light for Mike. I don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah, know about Mike him. Fine's a great guy. He yeah. really is. Yeah, I've become a social media, can I say slut? <laughs> and I, like, that's how much I've been promoting this movie, you know, so. That's great. Yeah, you should. You but, should. Uh, yeah, we had some amazing people in, in the movie, not just actors, but crew members, like, that really just gave their heart and soul. So A um, shout out to uh, our assistant director, uh, Craig, who was, uh, who was a, a monster on the movie helping us out. Uh, Craig, uh, Craig Colasanti. Craig Colasanti. He was my assistant director, but which he directed scenes that I was in, and even other scenes. Like that's how great he was. So I want to send a shout out to him. It's, he's a uh, he's uh, my brother in arms. Like he actually lives with me. That's how close we <laughs> are right now. So and he moved um, in with him after he showed him that same yeah. picture. Oh, yeah. he showed him the picture, and he said, "I've got to move in with you." Yeah, because he figured, you're, yeah, you're a man that won't attack him or anything. Right. You're safe. Yeah, but we all have this. Crazy mentality of like crazy raunchy comedy that, well, that you know. Policemen and firemen are known for their crazy sense right, of humor, right, right? Right, it's true. Well, going well, through a hard day, you know, working, sometimes you have to let some things out. You know, you see a lot of bad things, so this is our way of, it, you know, letting all that out to laugh. And, you know, laughing is good for everybody. Laughing keeps people happy. And, you know, that laughter is great therapy. Right, right exactly. It is. It well, really one thing is. about this movie, it's. You know, if you are easily offended, then uh, <laughs> you're not going to want to watch it. But it's almost like, oh, sh I got to see it. I, look, <laughs> look, look at that car accident. I got to slow down to see that, you know? <laughs> so, uh, definitely, uh, if, if you are tired of this politically correctness thing that's going on, then you're going to love this movie. That's you're it. You, you know, that's what you should forget about. Yeah. Don't be offended. You know, just go and offended. like if I fart right now, no one's gonna be offended in this room. <laughs> I might. Oh well, I'm not gonna, in that case, I'm not gonna fart because you 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 pointed in that direction. <laughs> so I fart. So it's like yeah, it's coming. Kind of, if you fart it next to Joe, me. it won't offend. It won't offend me, Ben, because I I smelt his farts oh, about a million it. times. So. So. Now. Are you two editing the movie yourselves? Or no, do you we, have have, we have an editor, you know, a professional editor that's going to edit it. And, um, you know, put some music, score design, color correction, everything like this is going to be done to the max. So, so how's that going to work? He's going to edit and you're just going to leave him alone no, and then go... we are like <laughs> obsessed with every single scene. So we, we're going to be heavily involved. And in tell him this. You know? Now, were there a lot of takes with... Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's probably going to be a director's cut. There's going to be a lot of bloopers. There's so many behind the scenes footage that we that we took so um were there any scenes where you thought this scene will be really quick and easy and it took a lot of takes oh know? yeah i mean we had a there's a lot of production value in this movie there's a big wedding scene that took a long time to, to get going um also you know joey gets his menstrual cycle so he decides he's <laughs> going to use tampons and 
you know, one of them gets accidentally stuck inside of him. So, uh, <laughs> you know, that scene was, was not easy to, to get, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give away the story. Don't give it away. <laughs> don't give it away. But it sounds like it's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. So, um, some nights of shooting, we had some shooting nights that, that was supposed to be outside and it rained, so we had a, we had a stop. So now the whole crew and everyone's sitting around you know, for a couple hours while it's raining outside, so those were, you know, it was tough. Yeah, was, waiting for it to stop. It was yeah. tough because, you know, we, you know, Rich uh, did a lot for the movie, you know, uh, you know, we were making, uh, Rich was making food, I was making food, we were going, Rich was going to the store to pick up uh, cases of water. And yeah, I mean, this was like a big guerrilla film, like, family that was just saying, we got to make this, let's keep fighting for this, you know, so... Um, so you would have food every, yeah, every I mean, day? We, we had food, we ordered food, everything was done professionally to the max, and, uh, um, you know, it was very important to take care of your cast and crew, feed them really good, and that's something that I knew ahead of time. Can't give them pizza every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After after the first day, I'm not coming back to this yeah, day, for you know? Yeah, pizza, so right. So I made sure that they... We had our food, uh, you know? the truck yeah. driver, uh, Butch, he drove the truck with all the equipment. He had a birthday during shooting, and we got him a birthday cake, and we sang him happy birthday, so he was happy. Yeah, and oh, uh, that's we actually nice. gave him a part in the movie where he was playing a truck driver that was having sex. <laughs> not regular sex, just, you know. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, irregular sex. Okay, I, I'm familiar not with that. Not normal sex. Yeah, irregular not sex. Not yeah. sex. Abnormal Happy sex. birthday, Butch. Happy birthday, Butch. So, but every, all right, we yeah. all became a big fan. Is that going to be in the movie? Yeah, going to be in the movie. Irregular yeah, sex? Yeah. yeah. We also have to thank uh, some of the places that we were at. Uh, e Gastro Pub in Oceanside. They let us shoot a really hysterical scene. Uh, thank you, Timmy O'Hagan, for uh, letting us use... Uh, your uh, your bar right. it was a great great place to eat on uh, it was on Long Beach Road in Oceanside. Eat Gastro Pub, awesome place. That's we had we shot a big scene. Chris Monty was in that scene. Chris Roach was in that scene. Joey, Lamar, Rich. Now, so uh, it was a lot of location shooting. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, there's a lot of locations, and you know, one way that we were able to keep costs down. I mean, this movie, if we would have paid the regular cost of of locations, it would be like an extra fifty thousand, a thousand, but through friends and, and family, we were able to lock down locations that people did us a lot of favors. So um, we were very lucky with that. So I want to thank everybody for that. Great. And now you, you were telling me uh, during the commercial break that you're planning uh, in the end of September. Yeah, at, at, a, at a, um, a comedy club, famous comedy club here in Long Island. Could we say the name? Or yeah, yeah. At our governor's, we're going to be uh, uh, doing a promotion for the movie, uh, for post-production where uh, Joey Cola will be uh, headlining and uh, a lot of guys from the movie we'll see who who comes down we're not sure it'll be a surprise for everybody um, that's at uh, September 25th at uh, 7 uh, seven o'clock at a Governor's Comedy Club my birthday so do I get to go in for oh, free? Get yeah, we'll get you. yeah we'll come for you we'll come yes, you, we'll we'll come come you come down and uh, you know we'll see we'll see what comedians show up I'm sure uh, Mike Fine will be there and um, couple other special guests will be there but uh, that's uh, September 25th at uh, Governor's 7 o'clock. Hey, now what are you going as far as gender bender what are you going to show then? You're going to show uh, yeah, we're gonna just have a trailer? Or? We may not have a trailer by then um, but we'll have some clips to, to put up and share with the uh, the audience that shows up. We'll have we might also auction off some props that maybe Gilbert Gottfried wore or <laughs> yeah. Eric Roberts. Eric Roberts actually wore my shirt in the movie. I don't know if I want to give that away. I might want to hold on to that. He made it look a little better than I did. Yeah. But. And maybe you could get like his DNA and clone him or something. Yeah. And this way you can have, you can make like a an Eric Roberts uh, clone and you can have him on Facebook talking to women and then when women come they see you. There you go. <laughs> You're like, that's my clone. He, didn't, no. he has no genitalia. And <laughs> And I didn't once say to him, I didn't once say to him, I wanted to say to him, where's my thumbs, Charlie? They took my thumbs. Right. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say it to him because I heard he gets annoyed at that, so. Probably, yeah. Probably. So I stood away from that. Although I, 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 he had to hold my mouth a couple times because I was about to say it, and he put his hand on my mouth, and I didn't do the thumb thing. Yeah, because anyway. everybody thinks of him in the Pope of right. Granite, but he's done so many other yeah, films. Right. Uh, he's in a lot of films. Yeah. He was, a, he was really great to work with, like, 
he gave us so much more than what we wanted. You know? I, last time I saw him was in the TV show Entourage. Yeah. He was great in that. He's an he's amazing, a, amazing actor. When we he looks great. He's yeah. my age, and he yeah. looks younger than me. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> when we watched him work, we were really amazed at you know, what he was able to do. He was a great guy, great actor. Just really good experience. That's great. And Gilbert, did Gilbert have you guys cracking up during Oh, my. We actually made Gilbert laugh with a few uh, things that we did to him. We actually did a little trick on him when he was looking up the dress. We had a little air compressor. It went off, and he, he, <laughs> we shocked him, and he cracked up laughing. So and you had, that, uh, you had that on film? Had, that's going to be, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be in the blooper reel, you know? So, uh, but uh, if you can make Gilbert laugh, forget about it, you know? Yeah, you did that's something great. right. And Joey, Joey, if you yeah. agree, because Joey is a co comedic genius, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, with, with like I said, Long Island's favorite comedian. Without said. without Joey, I'm not sure if this movie would have been done. Because well, for me, when he read, the, like I said, like I told you before, when he read the script, he uh, he really said, "You guys got something here." So it motivated us, and uh, you know, once again, I thank Joey for that. Uh, he's a great comedian, but he's a better man and a, and a, and a great he's guy a, and a great friend. He's yeah. a great man and. I want to commend you both, and I want to wish you both the best of luck with this movie. I think that it sounds like a great movie. I love that. Like I told you, Joey told me about it, that he was working on it, and then now it's you're in post-production. Right. That is great. One year later, and the right. film is done, and, you have, and you, you have so many great people involved. I think, I think it's great. I want, once again, I want to say That's best of luck, guys, and thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. You're you. welcome. Thank you. So Richard Lampone and Joe uh, Morana, <laughs> and I have written down John, 60 John. minutes, I still can't uh, get it right. Uh, ben, before we go, I just got to say uh, thank you, Lonnie and Eddie, our, our two Vag Gods. Remember that, the Vag Gods. <laughs> oh, the Vag Gods. Vag -gods. Right. Very important. Thank you guys for being here. Okay, back. everybody, have a great week, and remember, laugh and the world laughs with you, cry and you cry alone. Take care now. See you next week.